All right, here's my finished example for my hot water system. Um, I just had some old pieces of copper lying around, so I made up a nice little bracket and everything. So the cold water comes in for the, the lower one, straight down, and then it recycles through to hot, gets hot enough, and then up she shoots up to the top pipe. I've just added some on today just to fix myself up. So a bit of piping goes up into the top, into the the hot water input, the output obviously comes down and recirculates again. So I've blocked off all the other bits and pieces. This is an old, I think it's about 25, 50 litre or something. Don't even know. No, 55 litre. Um, ripped out the old uh, coil that was in it. Blocked up a few of the holes. Put a little tap on the bottom. So I'm not actually tapping off from the top um, because it'll be too hot. So I'm actually getting a sort of like a, a mid a mid-cycle hot uh, water so it's not scalding hot so that's all in there so that's my little idea I've been playing with for ages so this one's more of a put and take type system so anything I take out I have to replace um, so it's not automatic it's just like an old bush uh, old army put and take system in a more of a desert style I guess <clears throat> so that's all chugging away nicely uh, next I've, I've already tested out this system hot water system into a plastic bucket and it worked perfectly so now I've just added on so hopefully by tomorrow morning I'll still have hot water um, I've got still got the cap which has been taken off uh, here so I'll be putting that loosely on um, overnight so just to keep the, the heat in that way so fully insulated old thing I picked up with a tip somewhere cleaned out no leaks it's all good to go now so now the next thing is just to fire it up and we'll see how we go. It looks like a moonshine device, but yeah, it's not. Okay, stay tuned for another video soon.